Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Mad Tinkerer Gaming with me, Mad Tinkerer himself, Travis Long. Now, I'm here today because, well, I'm going to introduce you to a game that I've been playing lately. I've kind of given up on the card game genre. It's just not been an appealing thing for me right now. So I've decided that I would still want to make videos and share stuff with you. So I'm playing a game called Marvel Strike Force. Now, this is an app game. You can play it on your phone. But I'm using a program called Bluestacks, which is an emulator. And we get to go in here, and I'll show you some of the fight sequences as we go through. Uh, it keeps telling me I have something in my daily objectives, which I don't have. Right now, we're going to go over here, and we're going to try Dark Dimensions. Now, this is my second go-through for this. And you get to get some really good rewards if you manage to pull it off. Right now we're uh, about four away from finishing. We're going to show you a walkthrough of mission 13 here and we'll see if I can get this one cleared. Normally I get one a night, maybe one and a half, so it's been a while to get this done. I'm 75% finished, so hopefully we'll be able to beat this and move on. We're going to click launch here. I, I have been fortunate enough to where I've managed to T13 two groups of people. This is my main one. This is called BKT. For those of you who don't know what that means, it's best Cree team. And ironically, it only has Minerva as a Cree. Uh, your main characters are Thanos, Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon, Minerva, and Groot. Uh, they're all T-13, of course, to run in Fear of the Darkness. And uh, before I was running this incomplete, I had Juggernaut in place of Thanos, but I managed to get him up there because a lot of these characters share the same needs superior palladium so it was really hard to get them all up at the same time anyway we're going to try this and we'll see what happens now bear with me you might not make full eye contact here because i have to concentrate on what's going on on the screen but i'll walk you through my thought process as i'm doing these attacks uh, as i've gone through these levels the second time through i chose different targets sometimes than what i did the first time um, Right now, though, I've noticed a trend. I'm, I'm really hating Spider-Man and Deadpool because Spider-Man's multiple attacks and his, of course, stuns. So for me, Spider-Man's a big key target. But I have Rocket already, and he has his AOE attack. So I'm going to try to mow down as much of the field as I can, lower it down overall. You'll have a problem with your taunters, but I'm going to go ahead and try to blind some people here with... Star-Lord, which puts energy back into Rocket Raccoon, and then we'll just try to get rid of Spider-Man if we can. My next big target's going to be Venom, but I bet I have a Taunter up before then. There we go. Alright, Spider-Man is no longer in the picture. Now, keep AOEing and just keep wearing him down as much as we can. I'm going to choose Venom as my next target because I don't like his prolonging bleeds and other effects. Uh, it's just not a very nice thing to have happening on this team. We're going to hit Minerva's heal, which will put everybody back to full. We're going to put Death Proof on everybody with Groot. Uh, that helps tremendously. And right now, we're going to get an anti-heal, which is good to get now because I've already done that. So Minerva's still got her little AoE going, her AoE heal, uh, and it bypasses that heal block. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to take off. I don't know. We've got taunts up. I'm going to target her. I believe Miss Marvel here is worse than Captain America by far. Uh, her heal just makes her really annoying. She'll probably get back up to full life before I can kill her, which is a pain in the butt. But as we're doing this, it should be okay. We're going to try to get this done. Toss a heal up to keep everybody as full as I can. Now Rocket's special attack does a lot of damage, plus it always calls like Groot, plus maybe one other person. We're going to drop a blind out here, feed Rocket some more energy, keep this cycle going. And as we progress through here, we'll drop this out, and that'll heal up Thanos again with his AoE attack. Rocket's AoE is back up. Let's see if we can get a couple of people down really close. Now... Rocket in, like, Ultima 6 is a one-shot killer. I mean, when he goes off, he'll wipe out everything. In this, he's not as effective. 
because he doesn't kill anything in one shot. It just, he does not. We'll go ahead and we'll try to put a bleed on him and take him out. That's a kind of a mini AOE attack. It's everything adjacent, so we'll do that. And then we'll retarget Venom again to try and get rid of his extended bleeds. I'm going to keep targeting him as long as I can until a taunt comes up. If a taunt does come up, then unfortunately I don't get to hit him. Uh, so we're going to try to take him out as quickly as possible. Get bleeds on him, get everything we can. Try to focus him down. Uh, before when I was doing this I was always trying to take out the taunters in all honesty the taunters don't deal a lot of damage they're just there to stall you so when you do get the chance make sure you keep your death proofs up make sure you keep all that other good stuff going and then just keep AOEing and trying to take out the people who do the most damage against you that's what I tried to target this second time around and it seems to have been doing a lot better for me um, Line, feed more energy to rockets. We can do his AOE again here soon. And then I need to get some Healy power up here. Okay, we'll just go ahead and try to take Captain America out too while we're at it. Now these these rounds go forever, so this is probably going to be the only one I'll show you. That's hopefully if I can get through it. There's like 26 characters to fight in this one. I'm down to 17. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to take out Miss Marvel this time around because with these two guys here, they're already about dead. I really don't want to focus them down yet to start the next wave, and she was going to heal. So I want to keep her down as low as I can and keep reforcing her back down because uh, I can heal back up through most of the damage these guys will do currently. And now we'll get that second wave coming soon. There it is, and that's what I was afraid of. We'll get that Drax in here, and Drax is a pain. <coughs> we may end up having this Miss Marvel up the entire time. <laughs> uh, it's not something I enjoy, but we'll work through it. Now, see, Drax already has his taunt up here, so we're just going to have to keep focusing on him currently, but we'll wear him down. He's just a big old meat shield for everybody else keep putting bleeds and blinds on him and he doesn't really get as effective AOE heal Thanos so he just keeps going and going and going uh, I'm really hoping we can get this taunt off of him soon so that I can maybe hit somebody else anybody else this is where we run into the problems where there's so many attackers out and you can only hit your one taunter and Drax is a problem taunter I really want to be focusing on the Spider-Man back here if I can. Or Gamora. Gamora's pretty good. Make sure we put her death proof back up. Keep putting bleeds on Drax till we get rid of him. Get that counterattack going on Thanos. He'll probably die. Uh, normally you're going to lose at least one of these characters once or twice in game. Uh, that's what Minerva's for. You just keep bringing them back. So as long as Minerva stays alive, this train of play is pretty good. Uh, when Minerva dies, that's when you have to worry about stuff. Let's drop a heal up here to try and keep Minerva up. Go ahead and do one more AoE, try to wear other people down. Hopefully if I can get back here and do another Minerva launch, we'll be... We'll be okay. Oh, no, she didn't have her ultimate. This might be bad. Let's try to at least get Miss Marvel out of the way. Okay, so she made it through that. Let's get the taunt up on Thanos. Put death proof on everybody again. I still think I'm going to lose Minerva, which does not bode well. Okay, let's hit Spider Man. AOE. Please let Minerva get her little mass phlebotomy off. That's what I want right now. I'll worry about bringing back Thanos here in a minute. That mass phlebotomy. See how it took everybody up to full health? That is an absolutely amazing benefit. Now let's try to take out the Spider-Man. He's my most annoying guy. And then I'll focus on either Minerva. 
I might go ahead and take him down. But let's go ahead and bring back Thanos now. Try to take out Black Panther. And then we'll focus on Gamora. Oh, well, they brought another Gamora back. And they brought a heel block. What AoE wants. And they brought out another Captain America. So right now we've got our two taunters out, which is always going to be annoying. Let's focus this one Gamora down that's almost dead, just to get a little bit of damage off of the field. Do the AoE attack on Thanos, that'll heal people up. Plus, every time a character dies, Minerva heals somebody as well. So it's a huge benefit to kill when they're low enough. I'm still going to focus on this one damager back here real quick, because I think, think, uh, I think Drax was going to die during that AoE, which he just did. So that's a double heal for little guys that are down low before the heal block went off. Alright, now at this point I want to take out Spider-Man. I still hate Spider-Man stuns. They're very slow for me. Uh, it, it's very tedious when you really need to hit your Minerva's Mass Phlebotomy or something like that and she's sitting there webbed up and she can't do anything. I can play around Mordu's heal blocks, I can play around all the other stuff, but I cannot play around that stun for some odd reason. So I really don't like the Spider-Man. Spider-Man and Deadpool in this are bad because he does AoE essence attack hits everybody, and if Minerva's down low, she'll die really easy to your Spider-Man, and Deadpool just simply ignores the taunts and will kill her anyway. So. If you see Deadpool, he becomes my primary target most of the time, as long as I can hit him. Spider-Man's my next one, and then I'll work my way around to the heal blockers like more do. But, let's get some of these bleeds back up here. We're gonna, actually I'm gonna target Spider-Man, I'm gonna do this attack here, the basic attack, because it does AoE, it does round damage. Anybody that's adjacent gets a splashback damage, which is pretty good. We'll throw a blind up here. Okay, that was good. That managed to hit Spider-Man. He didn't dodge it. Put another heal up, just in case. Clear off all of the attack downs. Do an AoE. It's probably going to get Spider-Man. Oh, Spider-Man dodged. See, that's another reason I don't like Spider-Man. He's annoying. Let's go ahead and deal with their taunter over here in Captain America. Right now I'm trying to use a lot of basic attacks because I'm down to nine guys left to beat. Now, if I can use the basic attacks, I will save these guys, put them back up to full health again. Okay, we want to take out Mortar at this point, if we can. I want to ensure he dies to keep my healing ability, and then my next target is going to be, ironically enough, Doctor Strange. I'm going to take him over the other ones because of his heal and his flipping tactics. Uh, where he turns all of your stuff against you. Um, I don't really need that happening. So there goes Mortar. So the heal box will disappear here. Now see, look, you just did that. So what I'm hoping to do is get back here with Groot and use his heal because it clears off all these abilities. So now we're going to focus on Doctor Strange. We're going to bring somebody back with Minerva. There we go. This is not boating well these last few rounds here. We might have to use my secondary team to get in here and try to take these guys out. They've got the block on Groot so I couldn't use it to clear off these abilities. Yeah, there goes my Minerva. So hopefully my second team will get this one, one round out. We're down to six guys. Let's see what the second team can do. Some of these are really challenging. I found four, ten, and these last four here are pretty strong. They're hard to, hard to go against. So without trying to heal, let's do our setup here. We're going to go ahead and put Deadpool in the center. Actually, let's put Vision in the center. Vision in the center. We'll put Deadpool in the back. Phoenix back here. Let's get Juggernaut on that side for the taunt. And Nick Fury right here. Uh, it's not a very solid team by any means, but they are my five extra tier 13s currently. And it's a hodgepodge team. Uh, it's kind of like Vision and 
Nick Fury might be able to pull off some kind of work together, and these three should be able to pull off some kind of work together. But uh, overall, they have no functionality. Um, let's go ahead and keep focusing on Doctor Strange this time around. Let's try to take him out if we can. Get my Phoenix in here. Vision to block abilities, because I really don't want him going off again. Deadpool does put out a lot of damage, but, I mean, it's just... He doesn't have any synergy. You would think he would work with a synergy with mutants, uh, stuff like that, but he just he has no synergy capabilities right now. And I, I'm I'm finding him, even though he's one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe, to be not as effective as I would really appreciate. Um, his team up with Cable is eh at best, and there's no other real X Force characters for him to deal with currently. So, I mean, you would think maybe they could put X-Force on Colossus uh, from the Deadpool movies to help tie that in. Um, and then you would have at least Deadpool, Cable, and Colossus to be able to work together. But it's not happening. They haven't done that yet. They haven't upgraded it. And there's still not any real X-Force guys other than, you know, those two. So, I mean... Tying him in with just mutants doesn't work because he doesn't have any abilities that function predominantly off of mutants. But now that I've got the Tauner and Doctor Strange out of the way, this is just a simple matter of killing. So let's focus on getting down Venoms. Venom will be a good primary target here to take out. That way we can get his bleeds and stuff off of our characters. We're going to I'm not going to really, really try her because she'll heal it up. So I'm not going to worry about Miss Marvel. I just want to focus on Venoms. Get the Venoms gone. I'm pretty sure my Phoenix is going to come back and do some crazy damage, hopefully. <coughs> Getting this one Venom into the yellow would be nice. Let's just keep focusing him down. All right. We're working our way through. Like I said, this team is not very solid, but maybe it will be able to get this last four done and get me one more node for the knot. That's my hopeful goal with all of this. Get me some extra guys up here. Throw some more heals around with my operative. All right, one Venom in the red. We'll have another one to go here in a minute. All right. Hopefully heal him up, boost everybody, start doing some ability blocks. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, Vision is one of the most underrated characters. Well, he's not really underrated. Everybody who plays knows who he is. But he's a farmable character, and he's so powerful. I hadn't really worked on my Vision for the longest time. So he's mine is way underpowered. He's only a 5-star and he needs to be so much stronger. Uh, I did manage to T13 him, but he's just, he needs to be way stronger than he is. Um, but he does blocks, he does heals, he has AoEs. Uh, if you team up with Scarlet Witch, it's poisons on everything. Um, it's just, it's ridiculous how good he is. Like, blocking abilities is just super powerful in this game. We're going to bring some extra troops back out. We're going to toss some more heals around with the operative again. Keep focusing on Venom. Once this Venom is done, it should be a piece of cake. Cake walk right here. We're going to upgrade everybody's abilities. We'll do a mass damage from Phoenix. See what that does. Alright. Should be getting pretty close to taking out the Venom. Now we just focus on Miss Marvel. Let's get rid of her. All right, this will be one more node down for the day. We'll heal everybody up as best we can. Just keep using basic attacks, trying to wear her down. Even if she does heal right now, uh, I'm wanting to try to get everybody else back up and on par. Let's see what we can do here. If I just keep the basic attacks going, this should be okay. We'll do this right here to just do an ability block to keep her from healing. And at this point, 
it will be good game. And node 13 is down. Three more nodes to go, and then I will get my uh, seven star Ultron. But that was my walkthrough of this one. Uh, the next one, probably an easier one, but I will spare you that notion. Uh, so hopefully you all will have a good evening. I just remembered that I forgot to record an outro for you guys. So anyway, uh, I know this is a hastily thrown together video. The lighting's not the best. It's kind of late night for me. But I wanted to get back and do a quick video. Now, if you liked the video, if you found any of the information useful and you enjoy using it, please click the subscribe button down there for notifications of future videos. You know, hit that little bell icon. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. That shows me that you actually enjoyed anything that I put out here today. Uh, so remember, click the like button to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications anytime I do any more videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.